be woe for me, more wretched than he is. What? Dost thou turn away and hide thy face? I am no loathsome leper. Look on me. What? Are thou like the adder, waxen deaf? Be poisonous too and kill thy forlorn queen. Is all thy comfort shut in Gloucester's tomb? Why then, Queen Margaret was near thy joy. Erect his statue and worship it, and make my image but an alehouse sign. Was I for this nigh wrecked upon the sea, and twice by awkward wind from England's bank drove back again unto my native clime? What boat at this but well forewarning wind did seem to say, seek not a scorpion's nest, nor set no footing on this unkind shore? What did I then? but curse the gentle gust, and he that loosed them forth their brazen caves and bid them blow towards England's blessed shore, or turn our stern upon a dreadful rock. Yet, Eolus would not be a murderer, but left that hateful office unto thee. The pretty vaulting sea refused to drown me, knowing that thou wouldst have me drowned on shore, with tears as salt as sea through thy unkindness. The splitting rocks cowered in the sinking sands and would not dash me with their ragged sides, because thy flinty heart, more hard than they, might in thy palace perish, Margaret. I stood upon the hatches in the storm, and when the dusky sky began to rob my earnest, gaping sight of thy land's view, I took a costly jewel from my neck. A heart, it was, bound in with diamonds, and I threw it towards thy land. The sea received it, and so I wish thy body might my heart. I me, I can no more. Die, Margaret, for Henry weeps that thou dost live so long.